children, a loving spouse, obedient children. I'm saying that already. And we want all of it without ever taking the time to acknowledge our relationship with God. Oh yes, it's like walking in to somebody's house and opening their refrigerator and see what's in there without first saying hello and giving acknowledgement that it's their house uh, that you're in. And I want you to know that when you petition God's throne, the first thing you need to do is acknowledge Him and give Him some praise. Heavenly Father, thank you for that. to make a request. This model of prayer, if you look at it, there are five requests that are that is in camp in the Lord's Prayer. And if you be real for a moment, whenever we petition the throne of God, if we're praying correct, if we're praying right, everything we ask for ought to fit into those five requests. Right. The first request is that God's name will be revered among men. Yeah. Look at Matthew 6 and 9. B says, Hallowed be thy name. The word hallowed means to render sacred or to consecrate holy. When we reverence God for his holiness, what we're doing is we're extolling his righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. We're declaring the Father to be supreme in superiority. Knowing in wisdom and all sufficient in power. And when we do that, we pray that all men will come to know the Father as worthy of their reverence. We ought to acknowledge God and not only that, reverence His name. I don't care what the state says, I don't care what the school book says, I don't care what anybody else were. Listen, constitutions don't mean anything.
Jesus Christ. And when we drop the ball, we can't expect the world to buy into us if we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Yes, there's an inward obedience in the life of a Christian that transcends carnal understanding. A man who begins his prayer with thy will be done is nothing more than a slave and never really executes with his will at all. But the man who begins his prayer with our Father, yeah. hallowed be thy name, yeah. is a son and a son or daughter obeys their father from the heart. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. Listen, if you really God's child, if you're really a son and daughter of the king, you ought to look like him. You ought to act like him. You ought to talk like him. Yeah. 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 Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But then the third request is a petition for our personal needs. Not like that. After we acknowledge God, after we praise God, after we ask God to have His will be done, then we can start asking for ourselves. First number 11 says, give us this day our daily bread. Bread is a general term that Jesus used to represent all that we need to be sustained in life. And who but God can provide those needs? Let me tell you something. You don't need a job. You don't need money. You don't need that stuff. All you need is for God to supply you with your daily bread. Now listen, God is gracious enough that he'll use the job. That you'll get the money. But I know too unemployed folk that are blessed on a daily basis because it's God who meets their needs. You see, we think that we're earning our meager weekly paycheck so that we 